Hi guys, welcome. This is the question that I posted on LinkedIn. Let us have a quick look at it. Code 1. Always at the red postage clock. Q is equal to A. But here I am using a non blocking assignment. And in the code 2, I am using a blocking assignment. So to understand this code, we need two things. We need to understand working of the flip flop. Another thing is difference between blocking and non blocking assignments. So most of you know the working of the flip flop. Let us say here post wedge DFF. So if this is the clock, whenever there is a post wedge, this clock, this is T and this is Q. So Whenever there is a post to edge, the output Q will be equal to D. In other words, it will be clocking the value D. So, always at the red post edge clock. Whenever there is a post edge clock, this always clock will start executing. Now, what statement you should choose? Whether it is like Q non blocking A or Q is equal to A in a blocking sense. Which one is correct? To understand that, let's see the difference between blocking and non blocking. So let us say we have two statements always at the red postage clock begin. B is equal to A and Q is equal to B. End. I'm not writing an entire module. This is just an always block. Assume everything is there. So here I'm using a blocking statement. What do you mean by blocking statement? It executes step by step. Other words, it executes sequentially. Parallel execution won't happen. So, whenever there is a time step, let us say at t equal to one second, we got a passage of the clock. So, what will happen is, at t equal to one second, simulation time will stop. I mean, it will hold on to it. Then the loop start executing. This all will execute at the same time step at t equal to one second. Correct? So blocking means first this statement will execute. It is blocking the execution of second statement. Only after this result, the second statement will start executing. This is also called as sequential execution. Now let us see what will happen. So at t equal to one second, first is b gets the value of a. And after this execution, the second statement starts executing. So second statement is q gets the value of b. So indirectly, q is getting the value of a. So what we can tell is, at passage of the clock, Q is getting value of A. Now see the definition of D flip flop. At passage of clock, Q is getting the value of A. It is similar to this definition, right? At passage of the clock, Q is getting the value of A. So this circuit will be synthesized to a D flip flop. which is having the input as A 
and output as q so this will be input a and output will be q and this is the clock this table clock understood right now let's analyze the same example using a non-blocking statement so here now non-blocking statements will execute parallelly that is this second statement won't wait till the execution of first statement it executes in parallel with the first statement then you may ask here you are having a value b if first statement is not executed how are you getting this value well we will get this value from the previous assignment so our previous value of b needs to be stored so that's the reason we will be getting two flops here b and q so here previous value of b is stored and the next time whenever there is a passage of clock that previous value is used here got it right so let me draw the circuit now there is a clock whenever there is a passage of the clock input is a and output will be b this is according to the first statement this is clock and next the same clock will go here and whenever there is passage of the clock q will be getting b so this b we will be giving to q understood right this is the circuit we get when we synthesize this code so generally what difference did you observe when there are two or more assignments when there are two or more assignments we can observe the difference between blocking and non blocking while blocking executes sequentially non blocking executes in a concurrent manner parallelly so this is the case but what happens if there is only one assignment there is no statement to block right because there is only one so only that one will execute there is no difference between blocking and non blocking when there is only one assignment so in this case both are correct both in such to a default flop so even you use a non blocking statement or blocking statement when there is only one assignment both are correct but generally this is not a good practice but whenever there are two or more assignments it is always good to use non blocking assignments this will synthesize to flip flops i hope the concept is clear so that's it guys see you with next question until then have a good day bye bye